Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes. This is a WBZ News update. Three people were stabbed during a fight outside the basketball courts at a Dorchester school. Dozens of kids took off running. One person was taken into custody. New information tonight on a deadly shooting in Mattapan. Sources tell WBZ the victim was a 13-year-old boy, and police say it was a targeted attack, a shooting that happened on Sunday near Fremont and Babson Streets. It is the second homicide in the city in 2023. Work right now underway to make Gloucester High School more flood resistant. A wall will soon go up to handle flooding of up to 13 feet. Right now, crews are working to prepare the construction site along the water so that they can bring in cranes and start some pre-trenching work. You may remember back in 2018, there were dozens of cars that were damaged in a major winter storm that flooded the high school stadium parking lot. And there is going to be a big change in our weather later this week. For more on that, let's get to our chief meteorologist, Eric Fisher. Yeah, no big storms, but some big cold on the way in later this week. Tonight, a front coming by, and that'll bring some scattered areas of rain and some light snow fall. So during the overnight hours, don't be surprised to see some of those snowflakes flying out there. We could see some coatings and some slick spots up until early tomorrow morning before that band shifts offshore and we get back into the sunshine. But with temperatures falling in the upper 20s to low 30s, again, watching out for some slippery areas to start the day tomorrow, especially off to the western side of Boston, less of an issue off to the south and east. Then tomorrow brings on a good amount of sunshine, high temperatures in the 30s. It'll be a breezy day. Thursday, it'll be quiet. Wednesday as well before we watch that big bowling ball of cold, and that'll be a arriving here on Friday and the wind chill values are going to plummet during the day. By the evening they are well below zero and as cold as 20 to 40 below zero as we start the day on Saturday. Lisa. All right, Eric, thank you and thanks for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update.